a Republican election denier is now begging conservatives to vote by mail. Hmm. On Friday, Representative Scott Perry, Pennsylvania, visited the annual PA Leadership Conference, and while there, implored his fellow conservatives to use whatever means they can to vote, including using mail-in ballots, of which Donald Trump says are corrupt and fraudulent, even though they're not. Uh, he said this, quote, I didn't pick the battlefield that I was going to have to fight on, and neither did you. Really? What was the whole voting thing for? <laughs> Anyway, um, he said, it is what it is. We have what we have. Yes, it, what you have is a perfectly safe and secure way of allowing people to vote. <laughs> Mail-in ballots are completely safe and secure. At, no voter fraud, okay? No, no proven allegations of voter fraud involving mail-in ballots. <laughs> so, great. Uh, yes, asking conservatives to use mail-in ballots, perfectly reasonable because before Donald Trump, they actually did use mail-in ballots. I know. Uh, in fact, in 2023, 43% of Americans use mail-in ballots. Now, that said, it happened to be a majority of Democrats that decided to use it because of COVID. Now, that has led to Republican officials like Perry to say, ooh, no, let's not, okay? Can't let that happen. Can't let people vote by, uh, you know, via mail. Can't do it. Let's scale back. Let's make it actually more difficult. Let's, let's uh, uh, you know, it, it, again, this is something that was safely and securely used by members of both parties for years without incident. And suddenly with Trump, he targeted, uh, targeted it and said, uh, uh, you know, falsely, that it's corrupt, that it's uh, because that, that that's the reason that we lost the election. And you had election deniers like Dinesh D'Souza using these ridiculous uh, movies that, that, that claim that there's mules, even though there's no evidence of that at all. In fact, all the evidence had disproved mules using these ballot drop boxes. But nonetheless, Republicans have gone on a crusade to make easier voting harder <laughs> because they don't want people to vote. Uh, now, Perry said, that if he had it his way, there wouldn't be, quote, an election month or election week. But just one election day where voters would provide ID in person. So what about people who work? Uh, what about people who need child care and can't afford it? What about people who can't make it to the ballot box because they're uh, elderly or they're infirm or they're sick? Or uh, apparently, F them people. That's what uh, Scott Perry is saying. Screw those people. Now, if you're not going to get to the ballot box in that one single day, which is a work day, by the way, then you don't get to vote. You don't get to choose your representatives because you're, you know, not lucky enough to have the day off. No, that's voter suppression. That's what that is. Now, he says, though, that because I can't have it my way and restrict voters, I guess we're just going to have to use what tools we have. We're going to use the mail-in ballots. In fact, he said, quote, the way it's going to happen is this. We got to take the system that they have, the system that was put into place, and we're going to beat them at their own game. And when we beat them at their own game, they'll be crying to show up on election day with their identification. What? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It doesn't. It doesn't. Mail-in ballots are for everybody. They benefit everybody. They make voters uh, voting easy and don't compromise security at all. Why would Libs be mad at that? <laughs> they wouldn't be. They'd be like, oh, you're using mail-in ballots? Cool. So am I. Great. It's, it's very convenient. It works, doesn't it? Yeah, it works great. <laughs> I don't have to show up at the, you know, at the, at the in-person voting place if I don't have to. You know, if I, I got to work, I can send it in. Great. I love it. But it shows you that Republican politics, what it's really all about, their mindset. And it's about owning the libs. That, that's it. The vote, we're going to vote so hard by mail, we're going to make the liberals cry. Huh? <laughs> Again, these are the same kinds of people that thought that chugging milk would make libs cry. Or, or, or more recently, the, if you don't remember that, Sidney Sweeney on SNL. That was bizarre. Now, if following a Saturday Night Live episode, which I, I thought Republicans hated SNL, 
<laughs> but apparently they uh, uh, went on social media and declared wokeness is dead because of Sydney Sweeney. Why? I, I don't. I don't know. In fact, even one of Canada's biggest daily national newspapers asked, "Quote: Are Sydney Sweeney's press double the harbingers of the death of woke?" Oh, Canada. You surprise me sometimes. <laughs> In not a good way. <laughs> okay. I, lo I love Canada. But wow, that is, uh, that is something. That is a hell of a headline. Uh, but apparently attractive blonde women existing somehow kills wokeness and makes libs cry. This is their mindset. That, this, is how, this is what the right wing does, right? This is how they are. So anything that, again, makes their lives easier... For some reason, they think that that makes liberals upset, even though it also makes liberals' lives easier, and it it also <laughs> it it also allows for more people to vote, which overall is a good thing. I look, I don't care who you vote for, vote by mail, fine. It's for everyone to use. I want more people voting. I know it's 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 a cra what a crazy position. More people voting, even if they don't agree with me politically, uh, they should. I still think they should be able to cast their ballot for whoever they want. Oh my God! But see, once again, that betrays their mindset. They don't want other people to vote. That's it, and and it's because the more people that show up to vote, the less likely they are to win. That's it, because they don't have the numbers on their side. And so this is why the right wing turns to the courts to restrict voting in battleground states. That's why they pass these laws, okay? That's why they fight against uh, absentee ballots and, and mail-in ballots and same-day registration and expanding, you know, voting uh, in, instead of just one day, you know, uh, for, for a week. They don't want people to vote, or at least they don't want specific people to vote. And so it is funny to see Scott Perry, who again is an election denier, okay, almost got kicked off the ballot for being part of the insurrection, all right? But on the one hand, he's like, ah, you know, we gotta vote by mail, guys. I mean, we really gotta catch up, we gotta vote by mail, we gotta hit it real hard. And then on the other hand, there's someone saying, it's so corrupt. And if Democrats win, it's because, you know, uh, they cheated. Uh, and the, the, the corrupt mail-in ballots, blah, blah, blah. And then if we get into power, ironically, with people who, you know, with conservatives who may have voted by mail, they'll then go and get rid of vote by mail. <laughs> that right there is kind of the essence of Republican politics, where they use any tool they can to get ahead, to get into power, and once they do... They do everything they can to cut others off from being able to get power. They pull the ladder out from behind them 